and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another Musical People and Journeys rock review show. Uh, welcome to my panel to Paul, to Dave, and to Ian. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. So, this is the eighth album this month that we're reviewing with this wonderful posse. Um, and uh, we are going to uh, rate them out of five. And today's album that we are listening to is Ex Ambassadors and their film Townie. Uh, we'll rate it out of five secretly. We have already rated it. And then we'll have our results show, which will be coming uh, after this one, um, for you to tune in and find out whether or not they reach the album of the month and or whether. They even got into our album of the year, or even to our Hall of Fame. Uh, but there we go. Anyway, who are X Ambassadors? Um, Stylizers XA, an American pop rock band from Ithaca, New York, that consists of lead vocal Sam Harris, keyboard Casey Harris, drummer Adam Levin. Uh, Russ Flynn is a Tory member and plays on guitar and bass. And most notable songs include Jungle, Renegades, and Unsteady. The band's full debut uh, album, VHS, was released in June 30th, 2015. The second album, Ryan, came out in 2019. The third album, The Beautiful Liar, Liar was issued in 2021. The fourth album, Tally, is now out. Ex Ambassadors, let's start with you then, Ian. Uh, what did you think of Ex Ambassadors and Townie? Uh, was it your cup of tea, my friend? Uh, yeah, it was. Um, uh, generically speaking, no. Uh, but this album, um, uh, so, so generically, what well, I mean is genre, generally speaking, right. sorry. Um, no. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. Um, but this album, I thought, really brought a lot. Um, it was just, it was a lot of energy. Uh, some, it's just, again, obviously the last album we're reviewing. So we're talking at the end, getting on towards hour five now of the journey up to Scotland. And we need some energy. We need some kick. It's great. Whatever comes, comes, but oh man, this really helped us get over the finish line. It was really good. It was uh, full of energy, uh, great guitar licks in it. Uh, the vocals, I thought, were brilliant. I really enjoyed the vocals. They were they were good to listen to um, and uh, n never, never heard of them before. Um, and I, I enjoyed uh, and looking forward to some more stuff. Again, not the best album ever. But I really enjoyed it and definitely worth a good driving album. Very good driving album. Definitely. Uh, I was just trying to quickly get on just because there were a couple of tracks that I, I really liked. I also thought these were um, uh, what, um, just get the band name again, it's just gone from my head. Uh, what uh, Blacktop Mojo would like to be, I think. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, they 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 uh, filled in the gaps. What that that lacked. Um, uh, I think it's Fallout and Women's Jeans. They they were brilliant. Absolutely, uh, just great. And Women's Jeans is a real tongue in cheek song. Love it. Uh, good energy. Talk about tongue in cheek, Paul. Yeah, I'm, I must admit, I'd love to know what coffee Ian was drinking on this this trip because. Yeah, it's definitely infused his brain in some way. Uh, look, I, I'll agree. Sam Nelson Harris, uh, the lead singer of Ex Ambassadors, has a great tonal voice, which is put to great use on this album about small town life, the frustration of living there and the upheaval of, of leaving, something Americans love to do um, uh, and sing about. Uh, Towney is... Uh, introspective and deeply personal the songs like like the opener uh, Seneca uh, I'm not really here fallout you were town and no strings will have a uh, connection with a lot of Ameri uh, the American audience unfortunately for me it's too much of a disconnect here um, probably living in the same town for all my life uh, and while I really liked Sam's voice and some of the songs the album is just above average uh, but I found and I found it all becoming a bit boring and in a way sub hosier like oh sub hosier um, Dave what about you yeah I think this is probably going to be fairly short and sweet from um, me on this one um, not too unlike myself uh, uh, <laughs> short baby but um, no this, 
yeah, well, that one. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this album um, is just not my style at all. So I can appreciate why people would like this. Um, they're, they're good at what they do. The vocals was very good. Musicianship in it is very, very good. You know, well-written songs, well-produced, but it's just so far from my sort of taste that it was like one listen and it was just like, yep, that album was not for me. I'm not the intended audience. But, I mean, if you are, I'm sure you'll enjoy it because it's it's very well done. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's like, yeah, Dave, this is an album you probably won't <laughs> like. I enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, tell you who didn't enjoy it uh, was... Uh, was 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 uh, by both Chris and Trish did enjoy, but Trish in particular hated it. Uh, I could not listen to all of his albums. This is definitely not a rock album or something I would listen to as a, as a choice. I feel I could not review it objectively. Sorry. Um, well, uh, obviously it's a journey, uh, but I would definitely say it's a mellow rock album. I wouldn't say it's not a rock album. I think it's a very mellow rock album. Um, and actually, in, in in fairness to it, I'm, I'm caught in two two lands with this one because. Three of their songs made it to my cool playlist. Right? Three of their songs, uh, which was Sun, Sunaco, Smoke on the Highway, and I'm Not Really Here, were really upbeat, were really cool, loved them, and made my, my playlist. Now, when an album, when an album, uh, when a three songs of an album hit my cool playlist, that's generally, that album like is like one of my favourites. It's phenomenal. It's rare that three songs um, that, that hit that my cool playlist. But after that, I can't really say anything massively positive, other than it was okay. It was it was all right. It was a bit generic. It was fine. It was it was it was nice. Um, it was ple- very pleasant to listen to, and it was a very nice album. Um, so it was one of those albums for me where I can pick out or select hit songs, which I I love and will play again. Not necessarily kind of play the whole album, but I thought it was solid and I thought it was really nice and mellow. And you, I think you've got to certainly be in a in the right frame of mind uh, playing it. And I perfectly agree with Ian that it, it's a gr- it probably a very cool driving song, uh, dri- you know, listening to it, because there are some really upbeat songs in there. And then there are some stuff that kind of meanders a little bit. But overall, I thought it was a really solid album. Um, I, I liked it. so um, But yeah. I didn't love it. I, 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 I just to add to that, if you're going to leave a comment because you think Nigel's internet breaks up a bit here and there, that's because you haven't liked and you haven't commented on 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 your and he needs that to increase his his his, his width on on his broadband. So please do, please do that. We we need that. I'm assuming I was breaking up in yeah. my commentary. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. I, um, I, I think what we've also learned is that if you have a five and a half hour journey. It appears that your musical taste will get more and more impaired as you travel. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. The Jamaican okay. brand of coffee. <laughs> well, listen, uh, tune in to the, our next episode, uh, which uh, was actually released tomorrow, but hey, you might be listening to all these back to back. We'll be our album of the month show. Um, will X Ambassadors um, be competing with uh, a whole other bunch of bands with the we reviewed uh, this month, which was uh, the Black Keys, Black Top Mojo, Pearl Jam, Zootons, Nofla, Blue Oyster Cult, and X Ambassadors, which which will get our album of the month. Uh, well, tune in and find out. Thank you to my wonderful panel, to Ian, to Dave and to Paul. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Bye.